good morning everyone it is a beautiful morning after what seemed like a very horrific morning rain i don't think la is ready for like a thunderstorm like that it just was astronomical um it started from 4 a.m until like 7 a.m unfortunately i had to skip my morning walk um, because it literally rained until like actually not until 7 I mean the thunder was until 7 and then the rain was until like 9 um, but then afterwards the sun came out like nothing has happened like literally the most beautiful sunshine um, which is actually one of my favorite weathers when there is sunshine after rain it's just the weather is absolutely phenomenal um, it is going to rain oh my god a sneeze is coming Ooh, that took all my energy <laughs> um, it is supposed to rain again in like a few hours um, but while it is still sunshine oh my god another sneeze is coming it went away I don't know what it is but I feel like I'm allergic to something and if I'm not mistaking I think it should be something in my makeup I think it's my powder I'm not sure I started using the Huda Beauty powder um, and I think that's what it is because every time I use powder I start sneezing by the way I'm not wearing foundation today oh my god my face and my body are not matching love that for me I have to fake time my body but anyway I'm wearing my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer that I absolutely love 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 but anyway what was I saying oh so we're gonna have sunshine for a couple of hours and I wanted to go to TJ Maxx for a few days now but it has been raining non-stop for the past two to three days today's the first day I mean it was not thunder the past few days um the most horrific one was this morning um but anyway it has been raining so I didn't get a chance to go so I was like let's just go today I am looking for I'm specifically going for Ralph Lauren sweater. I saw one online that I absolutely love at Ralph Lauren's website, but the one that I want is sold out in my size. I'm pretty sure it's one of the new collections and probably TJ Maxx or Marshalls won't have it, but I was like, let's just go and see what they have. I used to work at Marshalls a few years ago. How many years ago was that? 2013? Um, I worked there for five years and one of the biggest inventories that we would ever get um, was Ralph, Ralph, Ralph oh my god I can't talk Ralph Lauren but I looked up online at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and I didn't see any not even one item so I was like let's just go into a store and see if I would be able to find something in store um, the sweater that I'm looking for is a cream not cream it's actually beige caramel color sweater cable knit sweater crew neck with Ralph Lauren logo but I'm looking for the one that is with the white logo not the blue logo currently I'm waiting for my friend to come out the very last minute I messaged her that I'm going to TJ Maxx if she wants to join she said yes so I'm just literally waiting outside her house until she comes out and then we can go to TJ Maxx by the way a lot of people ask me why do we have a car set in our car in my previous video so that's for my cousin Monte it happens that sometimes we pick him up from school and this is the extra one we usually take it out and put it back in if we need it but honestly been feeling lazy and we just left it there it was hilarious in my previous video um, so many people messaged me actually on Instagram they watched my video on YouTube and they messaged me on Instagram I was like why is there a car sitting in your car it is for my cousin Monte it is November and the holiday the core is already out everybody's shopping for holiday but while i have you here um this year we're not going to put up christmas tree we're not going to have any christmas decoration because uh, my uncle passed away last january and um it's a tradition um i don't know if it's a cultural tradition i think it is um when you have someone very close to you pass away for an entire year basically you don't decorate for the holidays all of my friends are like please come decorate our tree i was like happily i'll do it even if i was doing our house i would have still happily done all of your houses anyway we are both starving first is going to be tj maxx then we're gonna grab lunch and if we felt like it then we will stop by marshall's as well Oh, 
time tomorrow The weatherman says it's a go But look in the sky I don't know So here is the first dress which is on sale surprisingly because there's nothing wrong with it as far as I saw um, I like it, but it is still like $118, $120. I don't think I love it that much, if you're being honest. It's just, just such a basic v-neck sweater dress. It is a great quality, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I am obsessed with it. You know what I mean? So, this will be a no. The sweater, I absolutely love. It's the Ellie Tahari brand that is very new to me that I recently found out at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I actually have a, a blazer that I got from TJ Maxx last time. I really, really love this sweater. It is pretty pricey, it's $130, but look how chic and sophisticated it is. So the sweater I am taking, but the skirt that I found, which I absolutely love, and I'm heartbroken that it does not fit me. This is a size 12, they didn't have size 14. It is very, very tight on me. I am not even able to zip it up. So sadly, the skirt will be a no, even though it's so cute. I actually picked up the matching um, blazer of the skirt as well. Obviously, the knit underneath, I mean, it's not bad, but I would go for something simple. This is textured. Um, just so you guys see it on me, the blazer, here it is. So cute, very well made. This is size extra large and it barely fits me. This is a Calvin Klein dress. I really like the style of it, but I don't like the color. It is a very gray undertone brown, which is not my favorite, we all know that, but the style of it is so, so, so cute. And it is on sale for $30, so such a good price. Um, but I know I'm not going to wear this only because of the color of it. This is from the same brand, Ellie Tahari. I hope I'm saying the name of that correctly. I love everything about it except the fringes. Like if it didn't have the fringes, this is a winner. It's so soft, so comfortable, so chic. Color of it is beautiful. But I do not like the fringes at all, like, at all. It made it very, very boho, which is not my style. So cozy, chic, very well made. But the only problem is it has the fringes. I don't think I showed you guys my outfit today, so before we head out of the fitting room, let me show you guys what am I wearing. I'm wearing this three-piece uh, matching set from Mango. It's a top, skirt, and a cardigan. Absolutely love it. I got it last year. Wearing tights because it's really, really cold. These are my Amazon tights. They are amazing. Amazing. Like, really great quality. And I'm wearing thigh-high boots and my Amazon bag. And this necklace is from Vina Jewelry. So... Here is what I'm wearing for today. But look in the sky, I don't know. Said, can you please make it snow tomorrow? Cause for Christmas Day, everything should be white. All glistening and brightly aglow. It has been one of the longest mornings ever, but anyway, good morning everyone. It is almost noon, but to be honest with you, the entire morning took so long. Woke up super early. I slept really, really early last night. Like, I think it was like 9 o'clock I went to bed. Yesterday, I was not having a good day. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. The day before yesterday was when I went to TJ Maxx. Yesterday, I didn't vlog whatsoever because we'll chat about it a little bit more in the car um, because I'm rushing to get out of the house. Um, I have a meeting and then I need to stop by Express and then I need to return a boot and then what else do I need to do? That's about it. And then I'm going to go meet my friend for coffee in the afternoon. So we have a lot to do. Um, but I just want to say good morning. Um, I don't know how to fix this hair situation. Like, I don't know how to make this side look like this side. This side always behaves really well. But this side, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what it, it's lang love language. I did my hair in a bun. And, like, basically I do a ponytail. 
and then braid the ponytail and then just wrap it and make it look like a bun um, I need to get highlights I know I talk about it in every single video but um, I have not yet find the courage in me to commit to an appointment but anyway um this is the hair situation we're going with i don't even know day how many of no hair wash um but i mean i'm not mad about it to be honest with you i'm kind of enjoying my hair up a little bit more nowadays so i'm not complaining about the whole dry shampoo situation um but what else what is do i need to update you i think i'll update you in the car because i'm running really really late um i am dressed uh oh i was giving you the rundown of my morning that was hectic so woke up super early went on my morning walk i was on my morning walk when my manager um messaged me um why aren't you on the call i was like what call what are you talking about I totally forgot to put it in my calendar that I had a call this morning so I was 20 minutes late to a call so I was literally embarrassed and then I don't even know what I was talking while I was in a, like basically on the call after the embarrassing call situation I got ready for the day I'm actually wearing a very very cute top from Zara this is from last year collection it's like a beige color with a bunch of pearls and to matching I did my pearl cuffs as well because gotta be extreme and like the pearl earring from Argy Daniele as well without me rambling on even more I'm gonna just gather my stuff pack my bag and get out of the door and while I'm in the car we'll talk about what happened yesterday? Why was I not feeling the best yesterday? Please ignore the box here. This is a drop off at the UPS store. Um, I bought a couple of boots. I'm actually going to return one of them in person in the store. I bought it from uh, Torrid. And this one that I'm returning, let me bring my wheel down a little bit so you guys can see me better. There we go. Um, so I bought two boots, white calf boots, um, and one of them from Tori, the other one from Fashion to Figure. I'm returning both because I think I talked about it in my previous vlog as well. I'm not a regular calf, but I'm not a white calf either. So the boots that I bought, they none of them look flattering on me. So one of them that is Tori, I'm gonna go return it in the store because I had to head out to the mall anyway. Um, I have a campaign with the Express that I need to buy the items for. Um, I was gonna put in an order online, but I would love to shoot them tomorrow or the next day. So I just thought I'll go into the store, see if, if they have the items that I need in store. If not, then I'll put in an order and shoot next week. Um, so I just thought since I'm going to Express, I'll take the Torrid items in with me and this one is the fashion to figure one that I need to drop off at the UPS store. On the topic of yesterday's meltdown that I had, so I had something you could say business and pleasure happening and it was very very promising. I was like 95% sure that it's going to happen. It was something that I wanted in a very, very long time. I'm not gonna just mention what it is in case like things change. I don't know, you never know if things change or not. But it was both something that I wanted personally for a very, very long time and it would have helped with the business side of the things as well. Um, I mean, it was both, to be honest with you. So, like equally both. It was 50% personal, 50% career, business content I don't know how to describe it and I was 95% sure that it's going to happen it was very very promising I was already ready to tell you guys about it because that's how sure I was um, that yesterday morning I got the call that it is not happening I know things happen for a reason 100% I'm a huge huge believer of that because I've seen and I've experienced it many 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 times um that if something is not happening it's probably not meant to be but this was about to happen and the fact that it got just it's not gonna happen anymore it's just like frustrating and annoying and upsetting and heartbreaking and i was very very like angry yesterday i'm not gonna even like it was, I was just not only upset, I was angry. Generally speaking, I'm a very positive person. I like to see the positive in every single situation. But 
if you're being very honest yesterday i was having a very hard time seeing the positive in this scenario even though i am not feeling 100 percent like myself um but i am trying i'm trying to see the positive i'm trying to see the good and nothing makes me happier than getting up getting dressed and hoping that everything will be okay everything will be all right just giving myself the positive vibes as much as I can so I just got ready for the day and I was like listen we're not gonna sit in our bed and cry today absolutely not we're gonna have a productive day so I'll go to my meeting and then we will go to the mall first return the torrid boots and then um, I'll go to Express I have like a PDF like spreadsheet of the priority items that Express would want for the November campaign so um, I'll try my best to look for the items that they specifically want it's a huge spreadsheet like it's not like 10 items it's like almost like 50 items so I'm sure I'll be able to find something I had my on I my hat I had oh my god I can't talk I had my eye on this sweater I'm hoping I'll be able to find it in store I don't think they had it in store I checked it online they have an online system I'm just hoping maybe you never know but look in the sky, I don't know Santa, can you please make it snow tomorrow? Cause for Christmas Day Everything should be white We have a lot to try on. They had so many cute items from sparkly bits to sweaters to jackets, dresses, pearls and cardigans and just they had so many cute stuff. I even have a, like a leather pants and a leather top somewhere here. But yeah, let's start trying them on. I feel like the skirt can work with sweaters, but um, I don't know. Together, I am not obsessed with it, but I think I love this skirt. It's so cute, so sparkly, perfect for holiday season. I love the shoulder detail of the top, but yeah. I don't think I'm gonna take the top, but I think the skirt, I will take it. And I think I need to actually get a smaller size. This is size large. I think I need it in a size medium. Even though this area of it is not very flattering, but I think if I wear a shapewear with it, which I am not wearing one currently, will look a little bit more seamless and smooth. Um, but yeah, the skirt I really, really like, but the top, I am not 100% sure about it. I love the design of this and I love the color of it but it is small on me and like the dress underneath doesn't sit nicely but what a beautiful red dress like I think I need to order this in a bigger size online they don't have it in a store it's such a pretty dress if there's one red dress that I would wear it's probably this I am obsessed I am obsessed. They had this match together and I love them together. It is not something that I personally would put it together, but I love it. The jacket is a little bit big on me. It is extra large. They don't have any smaller, but I am dying over this bow. Dying over it. So cute, so comfortable and soft and cozy. And the underneath slip dress, I really, really like as well. It's like a brown color beautiful slip dress you can wear it as a dress you can use it as a skirt there's so many ways you can wear like slip dresses in winter but the combination of these two together imagine with a boot like a knee-high boot i don't know i absolutely love it love 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 this i'm taking both of them home with me i love 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 this velvet dress it is big on me this is a size large i think medium will be small on my hip area but the size large is pretty big like this area is like super loose like i wouldn't be comfortable it needs to be like a lot tighter and this area is bunching up i'm not sure is it because it's loose that it's doing that i love it but i need to size down in it i grabbed the other color as well which is a beautiful red one i actually love the color of this one more but you can never go wrong um, with the black dress so let me just try on the red and see how that one fits on me if anything i think the red one is even bigger than the black one because this one has a lot more loose area 
I'm not sure why it's the same fabric, just the same design, just a different color. Um, but yeah, this area is a little bit like stretched out and it's, it's big. Like, I don't know, I would want it to be a little bit more snug, but obsessed with the color of this. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I need to try on a size smaller because the size large is not flattering on me. I am loving this top and um, leather pants. Love it. The top is a little bit tight on me, size large, but it's stretchy. I feel like if I get the extra large, it would be a little bit too loose. And we all know I love a snug look and I'm not wearing the current uh, correct undergarment with it. I need to wear like a strapless bra um, because you can see the bra line. Um, but I love it. The pants are in the size 14. Are they a little bit tight? Yes, but I think they'll loosen up. They're super stretchy and comfortable even though they're tight. But I love this color. I feel like this with this sweater even will look fabulous. will soften it up. But it's gorgeous. I'm taking part of this home with me. Wow, this blazer is stunning. I love the details, like the velvet detail of the color. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful blazer. I'm getting this as well. This is size large. It's so comfortable, so well made. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the shoulder details. Love this. I'm taking this home with me. Oh my god. How beautiful is this blazer? Blazer or coat, I'm not sure what it is, but it is gorgeous. Look at the buttons, like how beautiful are they? I am obsessed with this. It is very, very expensive. But do I need it in my life? I feel like I do. It's like $228, but it is gorgeous. I love this, like I can't leave it behind. Like, I just can't. I have to take it home with me. Do I want it? Yes. Do I need it? No. But am I obsessed with the color and, uh, and the design of it? Absolutely, yes. I cannot tell you how soft and cozy it is. So cute. I think I'm gonna take this one as well. It's so pretty. I am dying over this sweater. It is a small on me. This is a size medium. I wish they had a large one in store, but even if, even though it is a small, I'll still take it because I absolutely love and adore it. It's so cute. Look at the details of this um, sweater. This with this blazer, the skirt is very, very small on me, um, but the blazer, oh my god, it is stunning. Like it's like a jacket, military jacket, but like chic and sophisticated. I'm dying over it. I really, really want this one as well, but I cannot possibly take three blazers or like jackets with me. But I mean, imagine this together. How chic and gorgeous is that? Obviously, the skirt is not my size, and you can see my hips through it, but I just love it. Love them together. Yeah, I think I have to pass on the Cause for Christmas Day. Ooh, my camera is very, very blurry. Hello? Hello? There we go. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. I left you guys yesterday when I was in Express. The day got insanely busy. After Express, I went to Target and then I met up with my friend and then got back home, did a little bit of editing and very spontaneously at night, we decided to go to my, to go to my cousin's house. By the time I got home, I was insanely tired, very out of it, so I went straight to bed. And this morning, I woke up super early, went on my morning walk. I was going to wash my hair because it was time it was time but then um i've been getting a lot of requests to do hair care routine so i was like let's just postpone it one more day so i can record it tomorrow for you guys because today is going to be a very um busy day out of the house and i'm not gonna be able to have like a hair wash day i actually use a new dry shampoo i didn't use um the one that i use regularly i use the I'll insert the picture of it here. I picked it up from um, Target yesterday. This one was not in the list of the recalled dry shampoos as far as I saw. Um, so I picked it up from um, Target. It didn't work the best to be honest with you. 
I'm not very happy with it but I mean it looks semi presentable I had tons of reels to record this morning so I did all of that and now I am heading out we're going to my cousin's house for lunch and then probably will be there until the afternoon um, so I just thought before I head out and before I forget um, I'm gonna close up this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video bye